Welcome to the third tutorial in my beginner series on Oculus Quest 2 development. Before you can proceed with this tutorial, you need to first complete the steps outlined in the previous two tutorials. These steps involve, firstly, creating an Oculus developer account and registering in an Oculus developer organization. Secondly, setting up your quest and linking it with your developer account. And finally, enabling developer mode on your headset. A link to the tutorial series playlist can be found in the description. Ok, assuming that's all done, let's continue. This tutorial will show you how to sideload to your Oculus Quest. Sideloading is simply the process of transferring and installing an app from your development computer to your headset. We will be using a desktop application called SideQuest to do this, simply because it makes the process of installing apps on the Quest very easy, using its drag and drop interface. I will now take you through the process of getting SideQuest set up on your development PC. Please note, the following steps are for a PC running Windows 10. The steps may differ on other operating systems. The first thing you need to do before you can sideload to the Quest is to install the Oculus ADB drivers on the development computer. You may be wondering, what is ADB? Well, ADB stands for Android Debugger Bridge and is essentially a tool used for debugging and installing apps on Android devices. Since your Quest 2 is itself an Android device, communication between your PC and your Quest is achieved via ADB. The conventional way of using ADB would be via its command line interface. The SideQuest desktop application, in fact, uses ADB under the hood. In any case, we need to download and install the Oculus ADB drivers. Navigate to this page on the Oculus Developer website. Link in the description. Click on the download button. Accept the terms of the license and click download again. Choose to save the zip file to disk. Once it has downloaded, go to the downloads folder and extract the Oculus ADB driver zip file. Inside the extracted folder, you will find a folder called USB underscore driver. Inside this folder, you should see a file called android underscore win USB dot INF. Right click on this and select install. Allow the app to make changes to your device. That's it, we are now ready to install SideQuest. In your browser, go to sidequestvr.com. Click on the Get SideQuest tab. This will take you to the Download and Set Up SideQuest page. Click on the Download for Windows button. Save the file. Find the SideQuest setup file in your Downloads folder. Double click it to launch the installer. Go through the installation process. Once the installer has finished, SideQuest should launch automatically. SideQuest will probably display a message saying not detected in the top left hand corner of the application. This is because you have not yet connected your Oculus Quest to your development computer. We will do that next. You will need to connect your Oculus Quest directly to your PC via a USB cable. The USB-C cable that came bundled with your Quest 2 will certainly work. However, I would recommend that you use a cable at least 3 meters in length, as you will find this handy during development. In particular, you will appreciate a longer cable when previewing VR scenes from the Unity editor, which utilizes the USB connection to transmit the VR graphics into your headset. There is an official Oculus Link cable available. This is a premium fiber optic USB-C to USB-C cable, and it's 5 meters in length. Unfortunately, it also has a premium price tag. You don't need to get the Oculus brand however, there are cheaper cables available which should work just fine for development purposes. Before you purchase a cable, you will want to check that your development PC actually has a USB-C port. Not all of them do. If your PC only has the standard USB Type-A ports, there is no need to worry. 
you can use a USB type C to USB 3 type A cable. Everything should still work ok, providing you get a cable capable of simultaneous data transfer and charging. Most cables do this, but to be sure, check to see if the USB A connector is coloured blue. Ok, assuming you now have a suitable cable to hand, use it to connect your Oculus Quest to your PC. Now, make sure your Quest is turned on, then put on the headset. You will probably see a dialog box prompting you to allow USB debugging. Tick the checkbox saying, always allow from this computer, then hit the OK button. If you get any more dialog boxes popping up, just OK those also. Now remove your headset, but keep it connected to your PC. Open SideQuest, it should connect with your headset this time. If you see a green circle icon in the top left hand corner of the app, then the connection is successful. Now we have everything up and running, I will show you a few of SideQuest's basic features. One great thing about SideQuest, is that it's not just a tool for installing your own VR apps to your headset. It also features an unofficial app store, where you can download and install apps from other independent VR creators. I'll show you how to install an app directly from SideQuest now. Simply click on the Games tab in the top menu bar. Select a category. Then select a game. You probably want to pick a free one, which won't be a problem since many games on SideQuest are free. Now click the download button. Notice the pancake icon in the top bar has turned into a pink square. Click on this icon. This will take you to the task section. You will notice that there is one running task, which is the game currently being downloaded. App files on the Quest have the extension .apk. These are Android package files and are the format used on all Android platforms for installable apps. Once the game has installed, click on the grid icon. This will take you to the currently installed apps section. You will notice the recently installed game, called The Dream, is now listed. But what if you want to install an app that you have created? Let's imagine you've created an Oculus Quest app, and you have built an Android package file called questapp.apk. With the Quest connected, all you need to do is drag the APK into the top left hand corner of the side quest window. You should see the drop files here box appear. When you drop your APK file here, the app will automatically be installed on your Quest. Once the app has installed, go back to the Installed Apps section. You will see that a new app has been added to the list. Now that you have some apps sideloaded into your Quest, you're going to want to play them. I'll show you how to run sideloaded apps in your headset now. Put on your headset. From the Oculus Home menu, Select the Apps icon. On the Apps panel, select the drop down menu box in the top right hand corner. The one that initially says All. You should see an option called Unknown Sources towards the bottom of the list. Select it. You will now see a list of unofficial apps that you have side loaded into your quest. You can always find side loaded apps under Unknown Sources. To launch one of the apps, simply select it. Take off the headset and go back to SideQuest. There is one more thing I want to show you and that is how to uninstall an app. Go to the Apps section. Click on the cog icon next to the app that you wish to uninstall. Press the uninstall button. I find that I have to exit and then re-enter the section for the installed apps list to update. Ok, I think I'll leave it there now. I will probably take a more in-depth look at SideQuest in the future. You should also be aware that Oculus has its own official app that facilitates sideloading. It's called the Oculus Developer Hub. It also features a useful set of debugging tools. In fact, I have both SideQuest and the Oculus Developer Hub installed on my PC. I will leave a link to a walkthrough video in the description below. Regardless, I continue to see SideQuest as an important project. It has helped open up the Quest to unapproved, 
yet often more creatively interesting and experimental content. This concludes the tutorial. Before we dive into Unity, we will install one final app, the Oculus Desktop application. This will enable us to test our creations from within the Unity editor, prior to building and deploying an APK to the headset itself. We will do this in the next tutorial, a link to which you will find in the description below.